to YouTube as you can see by the description of this video this is how to fire your drone with a Spectrum DX6i or a FR Sky Tyrannus first off you need to go to Google and search for Note Pad Plus you'll need to download this Once your notepad has installed, of course you need to open it. Okay, here you can see everything's loaded up. Software is working. Now you need to fetch the DJI Assistant 2 software from the DJI Web Store. Here we are on Google again. Searching for the DJI Assistant 2 download. You'll need to download the Assistant straight off of the site from DJI. Just click on the zip and download. Once you have completed the installation, you'll need to First, open up the notepad, go to File, Open, find your apps under Programs and Program Files. You'll need to open the uh, Notepad Plus if you just reinstalled or installed in my case. Open up the application. Now you'll need to go to the DJI Assistant 2 program. Right here it is. Of course it's located in different areas in your computer. But you need to open up the app files folder. Go down to main. You need to open up main JavaScript file and the notepad plus you come down to just follow my lead here scroll down to where you see main window you'll see two hash bars here or slash whichever way you want to call it you actually need to remove those backspace hit enter to save it of course you want to resave you want to hit yes but you have to open it up in administrative mode. Of course you want to continue. Once you've completed this, resave. Now, this enables developer mode on the DJI Assistant program. This will allow you to modify your DJI Spark to run or to be controlled by a Spectrum DX6i or a FR Sky Tyrannus. Now, let's connect our DJI Spark. You need to power it on before you connect to USB. There we go. Get the little spark turned on. You can see here. Powered up. Ready to go. Now we are connected by USB and your computer may need to install drivers depending on what type of system you're running. It asks you to log in, just log into DJI's program and everything just like you would on a, any other device or if you don't even have an account, create the account and continue. Once you're up and running, you'll see here, connected devices, click on, click it. It'll open up the DJI Spark, and you'll see here in this window, we don't have anything that shows developer mode. Now what you want to do is go over here to your program once again, close it back out. You want to quit. Of course, I had to do that because mine was already open. Yours will be just a little different than mine. 
continue without scanning. Let's see here, we'll close all this crap out. Now, once you've opened up the DJI Assistant program, disconnect your USB from your Spark. Now you click on Local Storage File. And over here it says Debug. Change that to 1. You see where it says 1. Just backspace. Put on 1 where the 0 was. Come up to uh, Debug Enabled. You want to turn that into True. Just simply double tap or double click. Backspace and type in True. Once you've completed this, hit Enter. That saves it. Now, you can leave this window open or you can close it. I prefer to leave it open. Reconnect your DJI Spark. Okay, here we go. It's as simple as doing this. Just follow the lead. Now, if you're wanting to use a S bus, which is the only way to use a different controller, the DX6i does not support it, but the newer model Spectrum controllers do. So just follow my lead here. Okay, go down to basic settings. And remember, if you didn't complete this the way I showed you to with the uh, Notepad Plus and editing those little slashes, whatever you want to call them, this will not run. You have to do that first before you can open the uh, DJI Assistant app and enable the develop, developer mode. Excuse my language. But we're going to go into basic settings. We're going to go into RC controller. And where it says DJI RC, you want to go down to S Bus. Click it. It will ask you to calibrate your controller. You want to pause right there, pause the video. And if you get resoldering, this is where you have to follow me here. Okay, you can see where I've attempted to solder wires onto the DJI Spark. There are little copper colored pads here. You can see them just right under the glue there. One says S bus. Down below it, you've got five volts and ground. You want to take a servo lead, just as I've done here. Solder onto those pads. After you've completed that, of course, you've already bound your controller, receiver and all, to your controller, enable the S bus. Channel 1, 2, 3, and 4 will be your normal channels, throttle, rudder, aileron, elevator. Your next two channels will be gimbal and flight control. You want flight control to be on channel 5, gimbal control to be on number 6. After you've completed that, you can go back up to the DJI Assistant app. Okay, once you went back into the DJI Assistant app and bound your controller to your Air Force Sky receiver, after soldering the wires to the PCB board on the DJI Spark, remember, use caution when you're soldering. Don't get too hot. You could damage it. It isn't covered under the DJI care packet at all. But anyways, after you've done that, you bound the receiver. You should see something like this on your screen. You move the aileron control. You should see your aileron go to the right, to the left, elevator forward, you should see the bar go forward, back, you should see it come back, throttle, of course when you raise the throttle, it will increase, come back down, it will decrease, the rudder's the same way, go right, it goes right, come left, the blue bar goes left. Now, to take off and arm your spark after completing this tutorial, it, back in the old days, you had to go down to the center. You hold it just like that for about three to four seconds, let go. Of course, you throttle. The DJI Spark will not fly unless you get above half stick. Once you're above half stick, you slowly go forward or just push forward on your stick. The DJI Spark will fly up to whatever given aptitude you want to go to to stop you just go back into the middle 
and it's just as simple as that. You can follow along here just to check out the flop mode data. Right now I have it on sport mode and yes you can fly in sport mode with the Air Force Sky Tyrannus controller mod. Flip your switch. I'm using the SA for my flop mode. You've got altitude, position hold, sport, or attitude. Altitude, attitude, whichever one you want to call it. Now to get both, you'll need to mix your channels. In, I've not done any mixing yet because I actually like the features of it, but you can fly in sport mode now with a separate controller. I will be releasing a video soon of the soldering and assembly of the controller hack or you could say solder and assembly of the very well made mod. Terrible but it works. So good luck with it. Subscribe and like the video. Thanks.